There they are, high in the sky that can easily go unnoticed by the vast majority of us who pass below them. If you're looking at a 360 camera, there's 31 of them along King Street from Bathurst all the way to Jarvis, as well as on streets to the north and south of us, and they're being used to collect volume data as part of the King Street pilot project. It was all different modes, so pedestrian, cyclists, transit, uh, vehicles, uh, cars, trucks. So we were able to get that data of numbers of, uh, of each mode that was going through the intersection. Uh, and then we were able to use a comparison. So, for example, to look at how pedestrian volumes increased on King Street as a result of the pilot or how transit ridership increased as a result of the pilot, cycling, how it increased or didn't increase as a result of the pilot. They were extremely helpful. We used some other technology as well. We used GPS and we used some Bluetooth readers to look at travel time, but in terms of volume, it was our critical, uh, our critical data set. Cameras is created by Kitchener Waterloo's MyoVision. The city used similar 360 cameras from another company to collect data on the Bloor bike lane study. Now, these current cameras for the pilot aren't just on King. We found one at Spadina and Adelaide where they're being used to track vehicle volumes on nearby streets as a result of the pilot. Now, they found that the number of cars in the area actually went down during the King project. The technology also has artificial intelligence capabilities that have the capacity to help cities move vehicle, pedestrian and pedal traffic more fluidly through the concrete jungle. City staff say they will absolutely use this type of technology as we move Toronto into the future. We're looking at lots of different technology of which this is absolutely one and I can certainly see that we would use them in the future. We really use the King Street project to leverage an investment in, in some of this type of data collection service. Much of the data collected by the cameras showed that more pedestrians, uh, more transit users, as well as cyclists are using King Street as a result of the pilot, which today re received unanimous support from Mayor John Tory's executive committee. It will go to a vote in council one week today.